Welcome to Unveiling Beauty. I'm your host, Anna Manukian, and today we are talking about how sun care is the ultimate skincare. Join me for this informative conversation with Supergoop. On today's conversation, we are focusing on understanding proper skin protection. And there's not really a better person to talk to than Tiffany Mizell from Supergroup, Super Group, the gold standard in sun care. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, thanks, Anna. I'm so excited to be here. So tell us the 411 on like, what do we really need to know when it comes to sun care? Because sun care actually is really important skincare. Yes, it is the best skincare that you can have and you should be wearing SPF protection every single day. And there's two reasons for that. Number one, up to 90% of premature aging comes from the sun. And when you go outside, one of the sun's rays that affect your skin are UVA rays, which speed up the aging process. Mm. And then secondly, one in five people are diagnosed with skin cancer in their life. One in five people. Yeah, one in five people. So UVB rays are also rays that affect your skin mm -hmm. and of course can cause skin cancer. So it's really important that you protect your skin with broad spectrum SPF from both UVA and UVB rays. It's interesting because for years I was like, no, I'm good, no, I'm good. And then I started literally, you know, depending on the months, right? And I'm also obviously very fair and prone to sun damage, but the left side of my body, like my hands, my left side of my face started to get a little bit more like freckly. Yeah. And I and, and it was literally at that point, I was like, oh yeah, no, it's, it's all year round. It's not just in the summer months. Yeah, it is all year round. In fact, up to 80% of the sun's rays reach the earth, even on a cloudy day. So it is absolutely an everyday part of your skincare routine. And we at Supergoop, we started creating SPF almost 20 years ago. Holly Thagard, mm -hmm. our founder, started to change the way people felt about sunscreen by creating products that felt comfortable, where there was no white cast, where it just felt comfortable on the skin that you can wear every single day. And we are super excited about the formulas that we have created to really give um, sun protection to all. It's a really great founder story because, you know, she was so personally affected by her by her friend um, experiencing skin cancer, yes. but then also being somebody that, like, I wanna make this a natural part of my daily life. I don't wanna feel like I'm streaky and like I'm having to do something so yeah. different than what my traditional like makeup routine would be. You guys have done a really great, great job incorporating that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Holly's friend was diagnosed with skin cancer at the age of 29. Mm -hmm. and. You know, back when she started this company almost 20 years ago, the only thing that we knew of sunscreen was icky, sticky. There was definitely a white cast. You saw it when you mm -hmm. put it on the skin. And so it was really important for her to create products that had no white cast, that felt really comfortable on the skin, that felt weightless, that it would be something you want to wear every single day. And I think we've done that. In fact, we've we've done it with unseen sunscreen SPF 40. I love the unseen sunscreen because that is such, I mean, just from a daily basis wearability standpoint, um, to not be able to see the cast of it and to just again incorporate it into your daily routine for sun protection is is fantastic. Oh, absolutely. And what's so great about unseen sunscreen SPF 40 is not only does it protect you against broad spectrum, so those UVA and UVB rays, mm -hmm. but it has thoughtful ingredients in it as well. Frankincense, which helps mm. soothe the skin. Meadow foam seed oil, which helps to increase hydration in the skin. Mm. Red algae, which also protects you from all visible light because we also are affected by blue light from our phones, yeah. computers. That's a tricky one, isn't yeah, it? That's it a, is. Do you yeah. want to feel? I would love to. Yeah, please. Let's see. It's amazing. So it's weightless scentless so even the even the distribution though because i think it's a little bit of a surprise and delight when it does come out of the uh when it does come out of the bottle or the tube because it is i mean literally and it feels really really nice too um now i know that there is one that is like a secret makeup artist tip two that actually acts like as a makeup primer, which I think we absolutely need to know about. And that yes. is more of the matte finish, correct? Yes, except for, I will say, Unseen Sunscreen also doubles as okay. a makeup gripping primer. So as you can see, absolutely no white cast. Absolutely no white cast, yeah. And it actually, I mean, it absorbs in the skin really, really nicely. Yeah, you can't feel it. 
And oh, that's you really what's can't. amazing about I mean, unseen sunscreen. Yeah, nice, nice little sheen, but no, it look, it feels like it's moisturizing at the same time. That's fantastic. Yes, it's that metafoam seed. Love that oil. Okay. So let's try this on the sand. All right. So matte screen is great. Matte screen is a mineral option. Ah. So what we love about matte screen is it mattifies the skin, mm -hmm. right? For some people that have more oilier skin mm -hmm. types, this product is really great for them because it gives them an option, especially if they're more sensitive, mm -hmm. right? Or they're more oily. Um, this is a great option because it'll help to matte the skin, really great giving them sun protection, but also, as you said, works to also prep this is, I think maybe, maybe I got my sunscreens mixed up because he was telling me fewer, like feverishly as he was applying my makeup that it, that um, he loves it as a makeup primer as well. It's, this yeah, is the it's one. A, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, e both of these options are great as a primer step in your routine. So mm -hmm. you would cleanse, you would tone, you would use your serums, your moisturizers, then you would apply your primer. So this is a really important fact because one of the things that I know, I'm always like, okay, what goes in what step? And we know that, you know, when looking at skincare, a lot of the times the um, like the weight of the product you want to start out with, like with the most liquid and then build up so in the process though I wash my face I put an essence on I you know put my moisturizer on and then I would go in with my sunscreen yes so like step three for most people yeah two or three for most people. I would say so definitely after you moisturize the skin mm -hmm. this is a great option but what I love about these primers is not only do they work great for your beauty routine mm -hmm. but you can also wear them alone Right. So oh, yeah. on the weekend, maybe you use, you know, you're not using a full face makeup yeah. application. So unseen sunscreen or matte screen, throw it on and run your errands. And just, yeah, just have your skin look extra beautiful. Right. And, and, and no extra protected. Yeah. And also protected. And when you are using something like a primer unseen sunscreen, you can also use, um, you know, a reapply skew as well. I mean, reapply is so important mm -hmm. when you are actively out in the sun. The sun can break down sunscreen. So this we need to talk about because the the conversation so much of the time is like, okay, yes, I did step one. I yep. put it on in the morning. And then at what point throughout my day do I reapply? Yeah. At what point throughout my day, especially if I do have makeup on, if I'm not like actively by the pool or outside of yeah. the sun. Walk us through that process. That's a great question. So you should reapply every two hours. So if you are actively- Two hours. Yes, okay. every two hours. So if you start your day okay. with unseen sunscreen okay. and you are actively out in, the sun, out in the sun, it is really important that you reapply. Okay. And what we have here are some really great sunscreen sticks. Mm -hmm. So Those for somebody great. that maybe is, you know, a little bit more dry mm -hmm. and wants a more hydrating dewy mm -hmm. finish, Glow Stick SPF 50 is a yeah, perfect, mess-free, can put it on top of makeup. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna mess up your makeup and it's also really hydrating. Exactly. Yeah. Like it's also a little <laughs> bit of glimmer, right? Beautiful. No, but the thing is, is that too, when you think about it, especially the areas around the face, like when we think about crow's feet and things like that, it's also really nice to actually gives you a little bit of glow but it also protects this like really sensitive areas of your skin yeah it totally does and what's so great about the sticks is we also have it in unseen sunscreen mm -hmm. so glow stick gives you a little bit more hydration mm -hmm. um, of course there's incredible oils in there that helps to nourish the skin and then we have unseen sunscreen and also mineral sheer stick so there's an option for everybody it's because for some people, mineral is like the way to go, right? I mean, I, I like a little bit of a glow. If you want something that is completely invisible, this one is it. And if you're really, if mineral is something that's important to you, there's an option for that as well. Exactly. Walk me through, at what point, because this is the other argument, is at what point do you go from, you know, from like a body spray sunscreen to yeah. like, do you stop at the neck? Do you work yourself? Like if I'm applying this in the morning, do I put it through like my chest yes. and hands? And then what do I do in the rest? Absolutely. So with SPF, you need head to toe protection. Mm -hmm. And that's why what we call as SPF wardrobing, it doesn't just stop at your primer and your reapply. We have a product called Play. This is our everyday lotion with sunflower extract, SPF 50. It is an absolutely Ooh, incredible product for your body. Okay. You can also use it for the face too. Mm -hmm. I love it as like that weekend product nice. that yeah. goes from face to body, head to toe protection. This really just feels like lotion. 
Oh it my God. It's amazing. This really just feels like lotion. This is lovely. Can I use it for the other hand? Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> and if you smell it, you can smell those notes of citrus, eucalyptus, basil. It's really beautiful. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. This is great. And it. the other thing too, I mean, even realistically, because when it comes to sunscreen, we know that because it feels like something we have to do, sometimes, oftentimes it's something that we want to avoid doing because it's like, oh, I just have to do that. What I love about this one just even now is that constantly, how many times do you reach for a lotion just to be able to like hydrate your hands? Totally. This can be a solution for that, that it gives oh, yeah. you that protection. And it's so wearable. I love that. Yeah. And nourishing with that Completely. sunflower extract. Yeah. And it's great for the whole family, which I love. So we know, okay, so let's talk about families. For anybody that has kids, kids in sunscreen, it feels like you're trying to wrestle, um, yes. you know, wrestle someone down sometimes. <laughs> yes. And I know that you guys have done really well with the play line. So tell me more about that. Yeah, so we have so many different options for play, right? And what's different about play is that it is sweat and water resistant. So this is really your product that you would go to for outdoor activity, or maybe you're going to the beach, or you just like the feeling every mm -hmm. day that's mm -hmm. fine too, but it comes in so many different formulas. So we've also got um, the antioxidant body mist okay. with vitamin C and SPF 50. Great for the kids mm -hmm. um, just to spray and, mm -hmm. you know, quickly get them out the door. Yep. Exactly. Uh, we also have it in a mousse, which is fun too. Yeah. <laughs> this is also an SPF 50, a body mousse. So um, another great option again, if, you know. How much of the mousse? I know the thing with mousse is a lot of times it's like, how much do I do? Do I do a Big, you know, big voluminous yeah, I application. Would say, do I do like a quarter? Yeah, that's a great question. I would say just enough to cover the body to okay. make sure it absorbs into the body. Okay. Um, and again, with any SPF, you most definitely want to reapply when actively out in the sun every two hours. So, um, you know, play is a great option. Or let's talk about just for play because I know so many, you know, for, for anyone that has kids, this is a continuous battle of, yes, they go swim and you could, they come back out. If two hours, if someone is swimming, is that a shorter time or is it still two hours? Still two hours. Still two hours. Okay, yes, so that's still really two hours. Know. But um, after coming out of the water, toweling off, make sure you reapply. Okay. Yeah. Great skews. And of course, um, we can't forget the most sun sensitive areas of the body, mm -hmm. which is our lips. In fact, our lips are one of the most sun sensitive parts of the body because they don't contain melanin. And we forget about that, don't we? We forget yeah. about that, yeah. And so we need protection against UVA and UVB rays. I think not only from an aging perspective, but also to not dehydrate the lips. So this is a good point. So because lips don't have melanin, yes, you're not actively seeing them get burned. Right. Right? That's but right. But the damage is happening. And that's so when you right. think about why we have like chapped lips and why we have dehydrated lips after the sun, that's a really good point. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have incredible um, options for lips um, for, you know, for, of course, if you want to ensure that you're keeping your lips protected as well. So if I wear... Okay. All right. So let's ask this question. If I wear lipstick, do I put it on? Do I always have to put it on on like the bottom before I put any sort of cosmetics on or do yeah, I? I would put it on first. Okay. Um, and then you can reapply throughout the day okay. um, on top with your lipstick. Okay. So first initially that's the base. And then if I do put lipstick on as I'm reapplying, just put it all right over. Absolutely. It. Okay, Absolutely. You. And another great reapply skew since we're talking about reapplying mm -hmm. is our resetting our resetting powder. Tell me about this, yes. 100% mineral, SPF 35. It is absolutely incredible because not only does it fit perfectly into your beauty routine mm -hmm. by being a powder, it comes in four different shades. Um, I believe this one is light. Um, you can just throw it in your makeup bag. So show me how that works. And work. it, you would reapply here. So I would just take the powder and I would just probably in the T-zone for you. Okay. And I would just reapply through the T-zone, maybe through the chin. Um, this is a game changer though, because every time I have to be honest, every single time I've heard of like, okay, you have to reapply sunscreen and I have a full face of makeup. I'm always like, okay, great, but I don't want to ruin whatever I have going on. So this is truly a exactly. game changer in terms of- um, Exactly. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I mean, not only can you reapply with powder, which mm -hmm. I like to do, through the T-zone, I might use glow stick mm -hmm. 
around the high points of my face. I mean, listen, we already, I already right? I put some on. Some so, <laughs> I mean, I think, the, and they're so easy to throw yeah. in your back, which is yeah. really nice too. So these are really good makeup bag staples, I do have to say. Like in terms of your traveling makeup bag, these two are, because they do give you protection yeah. um, and they do give you almost cosmetic benefits without even maybe totally. not being intentionally meant for that. But it's, um, these two are great for that. Yeah, and I think what makes our products so unique, Anna, is that you know we have had a higher standard of products since we started creating SPF. All of our products have SPF in them. We have so many different formulas that you can choose from, so it feels like it's right for you. Mm -hmm. But also, um, you know, we've got thoughtful ingredients in our products. Sunscreen is one part of the product formulation, but you know, the the ingredients we we think about the skin, and we want to make sure that the skin feels comfortable and no it really does term benefits. It really does what is because you know i said it in the beginning you really are known as the gold standard yeah. for sunscreen what would you say is like the absolute key whether ingredient or kind of the secret to the sauce of of developing such a high reputation well i would say that you know what supergoop has always put behind their products is ensuring that it feels comfortable mm -hmm. on the skin, right? So the ingredients differ. There's meadow foam seed oil, like we talked about, and sunflower extract, but we're always thinking about cutting edge ingredients that are the best, mm -hmm. but also it doesn't feel like sunscreen, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's blends right into the skin. It absorbs right into the skin. There's no white cast. I mean, that's definitely what gives us such an incredible reputation. I love that. I have one more question. Okay. Because as we are in the summer months, I don't always wear a hat. Okay. So for anybody that has any sort of like scalp showing, yeah. whether it's in a part or whether it's for a shorter hair friends or friends that don't, you know, have um, hair, is there anything for of this range that you would recommend most for a top of the head? Well, this is a little bit of a hack here. Oh, tell me. But we can put this right in the scalp. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So you would just take a little bit of the resetting powder. Oh, I just I had no idea. <gasps> yeah. I had no idea. So just a hack. Just a hack. That's Lots a really good fun. Hack. Okay. Yes. Um, but again, I think Play Every Day okay. SPF 50 um, is a great option for face and body. And, okay. um, you know, if they can put it through, you know, if they're bald, it's also a great option, yeah. but you know, resetting powders. This is so basically these two need to go in like every travel makeup bag, exactly. regardless of whether you're doing exactly. You know. And I might add unseen sunscreen is 1.7. So you can also travel with oh, unseen there you sunscreen. Go. Okay. Very good to know, very good to um, know. But again, the, the best that there is as far as an invisible sunscreen. Very good. Yeah. Any so if you were to go to a desert island, and actually this makes sense for a desert island, and you can only take one with you, what would it be? That's a great question. I'm She's struggling torn. with this when you are. I love unseen sunscreen, but I would have to say play every day lotion SPF 50. Okay. What you just put on. And I think it's because it's face and body. Mm -hmm. This tends to be my weekend okay. sunscreen. My, you know, just throw it on before I go out the door. And as you can feel, feel yeah. I mean, it, your skin just feels amazing and hydrated. And it's an SPF 50 and sweat and water resistant. I'm on an island, so I'd probably be swimming. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, and we're applying every two hours. There you go. Yeah, this Very would good. be this would be my go-to. The Play 50. I think that might be my my favorite too. This feels amazing. Yes. I love the saying, sun's care is skin care. Thank you so much for sharing all of your wisdom with us. Um, for anybody that wants to try this incredible product for your summertime needs, but not just for the summertime, to make sure that your skin is protected year round, stop by your local Ulta Beauty or at Ulta.com. Tiffany, thank you so much again for joining us and for representing this incredible line of best in class sun care. Until next time, we'll see you soon.